Warning, this channel and all games played are intended for a mature audience. If you are under the age of 13, you need to leave this channel now. Also, Redbeard is a total and you wouldn't like him anyway. If you are easily offended, you might as well get the hell out of here also. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It has now just been over a week since the Naturalist Roll came out for Red Dead Online. And a lot of good stuff came out, but there has been this horrible thing that has been happening to a lot of people the past week. And it has been disconnecting. And I know, what's the point of having anything good come into the game if you keep getting disconnected, you can't play it. Or if you're getting a legendary bounty, you finally catch it because they're very, you know, broken as well. And then you get disconnected and you lose it too. It makes you just want to break the disc and not play the game anymore. So I'm going to help you with a different, you know, idea of what you can do to stop getting disconnected. And it's very easy and anyone can do it. Um, you don't need any friends, but you do need someone to help you, if that makes any sense. So... Let's go ahead and get into it real quick. It's super simple to do. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will help you guys and help you enjoy doing the legendary bounties and stuff that you can do if you do find the animals or just play the naturalist role in general or just play the freaking game whatever way you want to. So let's just get into it real quick. So what it seems to be is anytime you get into a new lobby. Now, sometimes if you've been into a lobby for a little while, you'll get disconnected or you'll just get four or five of a back to back as soon as you try to go into a lobby. And at the start screen, you could go to just free roam or you could go to your camp. But it seems it doesn't matter which one you do, you're still going to get disconnected. And of course, this is if whether or not your internet's good. If your internet's bad, I mean, you're, you're kind of out of luck. So this is definitely not an internet issue. But what it seems like Rockstar has been doing, and maybe it's not on purpose, but a while back, I think everyone remembers probably being the victim of it. And I won't say how to do it because it's been patched anyway but it's been a lot of the off radar things that people were able to do with their posses. And they would go into showdowns and they would do certain things, jump back out of the showdowns and they would be off radar and you couldn't lock onto them either. And then there was actually a way to where you go into showdowns basically the same way, take whatever weapons you want to. So even if you was on name your weapon, you could take any guns you wanted to into the game and you were also off radar there as well. So. Maybe they were trying to, you know, patch something there, but I think it's probably a combination that maybe they did try to patch something on that, which they did do and but try to, you know, futuristically stop that. And secondly, whenever you do the legendary bounties or any of the free roams and even the, you know, where you tag the animal, there's two different events that pop up. You're in a, a, a solo lobby, but you're not, especially with the free roams. I don't know if any of you guys have played it yet, but when you finish it, it's like the game freezes and then everyone that was in the match is right there and then everyone disappears and then you're by yourself and then your posse, if you have one with you, they reappear. So it's like you're layered over top of an existing, uh, you know, regular lobby. And I think a lot of people saw a while back, you remember the big squares that were popping up around St. Denis and stuff areas. Those are a lot of showdowns that were kind of being layered over as well. So I think that's what's going on. So. This fix is super easy. And the reason I'm saying that is just so you say, hey, you know, what what the crap's going on? And this is why this makes sense and it's super simple to do. Like I said, you don't need a friend. You don't even have to like the person and they don't even know to have to even know that you're using them. Uh, so what you need to do is have a friend. So for instance, I'm gonna pull up my menu and see if anyone's playing the game right now. And right now I do have people that's playing the game. And you know, I've got Hatchet Whalen. He's been playing for over an hour. Hi, Lady Cinder's been playing 53 minutes, and then Strife Wave's been an hour. They're in good lobbies. So that means they're not getting kicked. They're in good, solid lobbies. So they've either just lucked out, you know, they weren't going where there's any, you know, uh, layered over free roam events, or they might've did a mission, a bounty or something, and just laid it into a good lobby afterwards and they're good to go. So you can luck out that way, but this way is gonna help you to where when you go into a lobby, you're not gonna keep getting kicked out. Simple thing, all you need to do is go over here, join session, join the session off them. Don't go to free roam, don't go to your camp. And then I know I said, hey, what you what? I don't have any friends that nobody, all my friends quit playing Red Dead Online. So what you can do as well, if you've just been in a lobby and you got kicked, go ahead and press left on your D-pad, go to players, go R1 over to where you get to recent players will pop up. 
And then when your recent players pop up, join back into that lobby. Now it is kind of a crapshoot on that part because maybe they were just, you know, jumping in there as well. But the thing is though, they're still somewhere. So there's a good chance that you could jump in off them if you don't. And also too, whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation 4, I'm pretty sure Xbox is the same way, but I'm on PS4. Go to communities, join any Red Dead Online community, and then just jump off someone that's showing online. I mean, that it's, it's an easy way to do it. They don't have to be your friend and you could just jump in on them. Just make sure they've been in the lobby at least maybe 30 or 40 minutes and you should be good to go, guys. So anyway, I just wanted to share that tip with you guys. I know a lot of people's frustrated. I've been horribly frustrated myself. Yesterday was a real bad day. I didn't even bother playing the game because I kept getting kicked, but I tried this method and it works every time. Like I said, you're gonna sometimes just have error issues in general with your internet. Of course, you can't fix that. But with this, I hope this helps you guys out. If it did, I appreciate you hit the sub button and bell notification. And as always, guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.